Okay, we are going to demonstrate drying blood on your females. Uh, the situation that you may need to draw blood for is progesterone testing. Um, maybe if you've got a sick female and you need to go get blood tested, you can take in a sample of blood. Uh, so the things you're going to need are alcohol and cotton ball. And that's just to clean the area and get the hair to lay down. And uh, a syringe, I'm using a 22 gauge needle and also a blood tube uh, that will keep your blood fresh. Um, after you do draw the blood, you will want to put that in the refrigerator to keep it cold until you get it to the place where you're taking it, um, if you're not gonna be using it immediately. Okay, so what we're going to do first is, I'm going to get my cotton swab, or cotton ball wet with alcohol. Okay. And then you're going to need a partner, somebody to help you with this. Or if you have um, the elastic restraint, you can um, hold that blood supply right there. You can, uh, what you want to do, you're trying, you're trying to cut blood right here and we're going to be filling up that vein right there. So, I'm going to just kind of lay that hair down. You can see that vein poking up right there and you can fill it with your um, fingers. Um, you want to keep that held off um, until after you draw the blood. Good girl. Okay, so I'm going to just fill, make sure I know where that vein is that I'm gonna be drawing from. I'm gonna put my thumb right there to hold it, keep it from rolling. You're gonna to want to see how the needle is beveled. You want the beveled side down. I'm just gonna poke that right in there. As soon as you get in that vein, you'll see some blood squirt into your... It's okay. And there you go. So if you aren't quite getting blood as you're drawing out, you're gonna just pull your needle out just a little bit. And I'm not gonna take too much from her because I don't need any. As soon as you draw your blood, your amount of blood, you're going to put your thumb on there and draw that out. You can release that. And I'm just gonna hold some pressure on that to keep it from bleeding. Good girl. Good girl. And then we take the blood in the syringe, you're gonna stick it into your blood tube and it will automatically suck it right out. Push the rest of that blood in. And then you'll want to label your tube.